sales. My daughter is excited she made those earrings. She sold some. And uh, one football card. This is March 1st. We'll see how good this this turns out. There's been a lot of changes in the last three weeks since I recorded. There it is. There I am. So we have Eight total orders. I did pack up five and already shipped them yeah, last night. I've been doing that between three and four on some nights. So 177 lots, 4,174 items. And I took a chunk out of my uh, out of my um, count. Well, this is only 19 lots, 1,500 items, and one order in brick hall. So some crazy stuff. Let's go. First. Uh, Big counting situation. Technic pins. Uh, I say no. Okay, they're already counted for me. First order. Got some of these at the Green Bay show we went to in February. Sold them. It's from all those poly bags I heard out. Sold some of those pieces. Part of that like two years ago. If you've been watching Ralph's Bricks channel, where is it? Ralph's Bricks. He created this program and uh, made some updates. You, you can skip orders now, and the name doesn't appear there, so I can show it. I have to hit the letter N, and the name will show it for me. Um, so that's a nice change and then he also did a timer so this order I just pulled it it was six lots and got some arctic hats and some dinosaurs and two golem arms some baby raptors so it took me one minute 16 seconds to pull how many was it the 30 items six lots 4.7 lots on average and, and I'm like there's always that argument, is it really 4.7 lots per minute, or do you need to bag it? And what I have been doing is hitting the last space bar after everything's bagged and actually bubble wrapped. So once it's in that state, then I hit space bar, put the weight in, move on so there's not much of a gap in time between orders. All right, we're on six of eight. So this is the, the biggest lot count here. So at once... Once I hit the space bar, then the timer starts at the top for me even. It doesn't give you the lot value <clears throat> till the end, but... So I hit space bar, and there's a counter. Right there, and it has that. It keeps pulling that up. And then at the bottom, let's just pull an order. I pull an item. We're going we're gonna to be inaccurate because we're, we're just messing around right now. So then I hit space. Oops, and then go to the bottom. It's like 230 per minute. It doesn't know yet until you get a couple. I think it doesn't know until you pull a couple and then it has a, something to calculate. Four of those. And then, yeah, it's going down fast. We gotta go. Mr. Ralph. Thanks for the parts. So I, I really needed them. I have uh, only 5,441 left. Three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, four, six, seven, eight. What I'm talking about there is I bought some of these from Ralph on a live stream I did. We're pulling orders together. If you look at past live streams, you'll see it. Got a good reaction out of them. Last part was in a shoebox. We're at 3.8, average lots a minute, 18 minutes, 40, 9 seconds, 50, and counting. So I'm going to bag it up and then I'll hit this final space bar to stop the counter. And we stopped it. So 3.2 lots a minute, 
we are at this point, it's already weighed. Just gotta put the weight in. 22 minutes for 72 lots is, uh, I mean, that's official, and then I'll. It was, thir it was 13. No, actually, it was thir 13 even, so I gotta put it at 14 for the packaging. So, let me do that. And the timer does not start on the next one until I hit the space bar to start it. So, um, this is 40 lots, 148, and I gotta put the label on this and reset here. Final order. That's pretty bad for time, so go on. It's only seven lots, but I'm at 0.5 lots a minute. It's been 15 minutes in county. Um, I did use my scale. I got my weights out to calibrate it. it seemed pretty accurate. So I didn't want to count 800 of these. And I, you know, I, I always test. I do 100, and it, I put in one into it, and then I already count out 100. I put it in there and make sure it says 100. Which it does so. There's that. Um, so I'm gonna bag this up and be done shipping for the day. What time is it? Seven. It's almost 7:30 in the morning. March 1st. I got. I got sent two payments for stuff I did get in February. Even though I didn't buy anything in February, I'm paying for it in March. It's just you know, could have waited. But other than that, it was good. I did get this order in for BrickLink, which I ordered January 10th from the UK. I have two more UK orders that hopefully will be here soon from January. So that will complete a few figures of that. My waiting for parts bin is insanely overflowing. Got a bunch of minifigs that my son built me yesterday and have the number in there. So is it that site, brick, how you say it, brick and eyes? He's been using that. He said it's great. So we're getting through those torsos. DHL flyer. This arrived yesterday <clears throat> with the intent of paying it today, March 1st. I'm going to do that after this. I can't get into it. It's just bubble wrap. What is it? It might be Lego. Is there anyone's guess Lego? If you guess Lego, you're right. This is three cases of Harry Potter, the first series, and Fantastic Beasts with it. Three complete boxes. All the figures from each box in there. So there should be three Percival Graves in here. There's one of them. That guy with that awesome hair. So I didn't think I was ever going to get any more, but they came up again that they're there. So um, less than retail for something that is very nice. A complete set of 22 figures is a, like the cheapest on Bricklink was $210 in the USA. So. There's three complete sets in here, and then there's still over 110 more figures. So I did the math. If you sell the three complete sets at, let's say you bring in 180 after fees and stuff, <clears throat> then each of the rest of the figures costs about 200 or $2.70 each, whatever, for the leftovers. Because you can only do three complete sets with the Percival Graves. Um, I'm thinking about doing that. Um, I gotta get them sorted and we'll find out. Alright, like how the professional those turned out, three complete sets. And I've been, um, well, excuse you, holding a baby. I've been holding a baby. That's right. It's not considered babysitting if it's your own child. I'm just doing dad duties. Um, so, adding some comedy. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've been adding some to, to eBay, or adding them more to the quantities, which is here, and then I had two that I didn't have for sale anymore, which was the uh, Voldemort and the Newt guy from Fantastic Beasts, and also Hermione, which I already had a listing for her. She's already listed, so with the, with the cat. The cat. I think the cat sells that one. It's not the highest dollar amount one, but it sells fast, but 
I take a break, gotta feed the baby, and then uh, get those listed on Bricklink, and then figure out what to do with the rest. All right, we took care of all the Harry Potter. There's a few I'm taking to convention in that condition. And uh, this is uh, the file we're uploading of everything that was left after the three sets were taken out. And I took out uh, six plus t 16 plus a few more, maybe 20 for eBay. Maybe it's a couple more than that. So, yeah, very good upload. Um, for the time, I mean, it's 10 to 14 a.m., so I spent less than two hours on it, I think. I started around 8.30. Did I? 7.30, yeah. So, I'm um, going to get this put away. Then I have all those minifigs here. I'm going to make another file and start uploading these. Get these taken care of. There's about 13 of these torsos left over, or so, or 15, so there was only two of these that, that were built, which is CTY0329. Um, doesn't sell very often, but it's like at $5, so um, I decided to build a bunch because I had a bunch of hairs and the heads, this uh, head program that I that I invented and basically finished it. I don't know how much I showed it. I got hairs down there now, some of them. Um, it's been working out so well. I'm getting, uh, building 50 minifigs an hour, basically, is what it comes to. Not, not different ones, but can total combined. I'm not doing it. My son is doing all this, so he can do like 50 an hour, which is pretty good. Because uh, they're mostly over a dollar each, or probably like a dollar 25 each on average when it comes down to it so it's nothing extremely valuable but it's something I wouldn't really do so I have someone doing it for me that's nice all right someone's swinging their seat over there um so got those all done uh, I gotta do last six months sales $352 that is crazy because this one is five, that one is four, some are two. All right, I got my uh, cases out. These are what I originally used when I first started my Brickling store for not all the sort, uh, not all the storage, but most of it. They just go in those two spots there, stacked in three. Number one is full, so I left it over here, and then may not use number six, but number five is completely empty. Number three is completely empty because they're on the bottom. It's kind of a pain to get to if I have to, but uh, I have more of these dividers to make more that right there so any any of these that I have like eight or more I'm gonna use those I'm gonna try to obviously not put the same green torso guy with the same bin that's why I have multiple open so and then all the things are together with this the same type of torso in order so I just put this one in number two this one in number three four or five so that they don't there's no chance of getting the wrong one when, uh, when it comes up when I'm speedy picking things, so get this put away. All right. At one point, I think I had over 200 of these because somebody was selling them to me for like a dollar fifty each. So uh, that was four years ago. Now this is the end of it. <laughs> I just I don't need it anymore. I think I parted these out about a year ago because the hair is worth over two bucks. So and it just have so many of the other parts, but I put a few in the convention. And I'm just going to part, basically part out most of these. Actually, I had a drawer of him over here at one point. Um, they might have actually sold out. I had them at a low enough price where they would sell out. I'm pretty sure I don't see them anymore. So I think... Yeah. This drawer. It's consolidating. But, yeah, he must have sold out. So we'll see what happens. I'll check on all that and get all this organized. And we'll check back in. The legs I was thinking about are over here because they're over here. Adding 35 more. Alright, I'm gonna go through this from Burke's Bricks in the UK. Um, there's definitely stuff I need, like these 
I ran out of these vermilion heads. Um, for this guy, he doesn't have legs though. I think I can complete one out of them. Um, there's just so much. I have so many I just pulled out here. The uh, waiting for parts bin. You're seeing it now. Okay, Vermilion Warrior, he'll be completed. <clears throat> I need to do a better job of organizing these by like alphabetical. I mean, they're in theme, but then alphabetical also needs some some play in here. Uh, I don't know, a welder. So there's a welder, Cleopatra, or not Cleopatra. Series 5. Uh, Egyptian Queen. Let's see. Just kind of, it helps me to get used to what's in there. I, I haven't been going through here at all because I haven't had get, gotten any Brooklyn quarters in over a month. So I just keep throwing stuff in here. But I kind of know what I throw in here. Kind of. Egyptian Queen it needs a torso. I think that's in there. Yep. Okay. And then the welder wise. Maybe I don't need the welder anymore. Maybe I had enough stuff. Yeah, doesn't look like it. All right, so we got we got two. We're gonna do that'll add the other head to that. I uh, don't need that. Um, this this torso here is definitely gonna get used. Gilbert the Bat is in here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's in here. Again, I need to sort this better. When I maybe when I um when I add these parts like my all these parts are not on my wanted list right now so when I do get to the point of adding them probably next week here's Gilbert so he yeah that's all he needed was the head so he'll be completed um, maybe I will better organize these be more less I don't know what to do this can all leave this is kind of like bigger stuff waiting for parts I don't know what else to do with some of it? Some of it doesn't even, should even be in here. Like, why are these guys even in here? Just stuff I need to take care of. Maybe I just pull those out. That when I do that, and take care of them at that point. Um, ooh, is that the Egyptian or fortune teller? I know she's in here, but I can't remember if I just what did I what I needed. That's all I need is her head. Well, I have the other card somewhere. I, I did see it. I just. Never, uh, I never put it in there. I want to say it's in here. I have to look through the bottom. Oh, I don't see it. Maybe it was in the accessories. Um, we'll find it. But let me get all this uh, dumped out, and we'll get this all—all all these parts used that we need. All right. So that was a really good order. Completed all these. Seven, and there's a couple more that are close to be completed. When I got a um, email from Brickwell, Milwaukee, saying that they're moving to a larger building at the Wisconsin State Fair, so I'll be. So that is, that's awesome to see a girl like that. All right, more minifigs being built. Sorted out the orange. And this is the torsos that are left. White, black. I already did the firefighters out of here. Or the newer ones, not the old ones. Oh, dark blue got thrown in there. Um, red and blue. So I, I am going to take out... I probably will not build these standard ones. There's a few that I might not build uh, out of these. I don't know yet. Um, but like the orange. I'll just give you an idea. Like I We're at the point where resources are getting... Sparse, sparse, whatever you want to say, how do you ever say it? You know, certain leg colors are getting low. Wow, you use up a lot of legs too. This thing was pretty. There's a lot in here, but that's getting, it's getting down. I mean, it still is a lot, but I um, just don't want to run out of stuff that I need for other stuff. So I'm going to find all the good ones, salvage arms of the bad ones. And get these listed real quick, and then 
And then after that, the rest of my day, I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of these. These are just things that uh, we found mostly in, mostly in? Uh, some bigger pieces from that uh, bulk purchase I made in the Green Bay at the Green Bay show. Because that was my house money today. I, I could buy stuff with the money I made there to get me through the month. So, you're saying, well, I didn't buy in February. Well, I actually did a lot of trades in buying combo, combo stuff. I don't know. I just have a ton of these. I just get those listed as well. So, I just want to take care of this. And, uh, I don't even know how Lloyd has been over here. He's, I have not talked to Lloyd much lately. It's been a sad situation. Ah, 2.16 p.m. Get the work going. All right, change of plans. I forgot what I was supposed to do. Try to get an order. So this is since like what, 6 a.m., 5.30 a.m., 10 orders, 260 lots I gotta do. So gotta get moving. Got all the orders except that one label. So, and it is uh, close to five, but I was on babysitting duty, so I got slowed down. Okay, it's not babysitting. I was on watching my child duty. I'm gonna call it babysitting either way, so that's just how I call it. So I'm supposed to be working, but you know, I go in until tomorrow. Right. We're back at it in the morning. eBay is done. So now we had 10 orders before, I think. Now we have 22. 1700 items 333 lots so it's not much more to be honest i want to say it was two, over 200 lots before so not too much more so let's get to work i hate it when i cannot find parts 113 i would have put it in a plastic bag There it is. We found it. Just uploaded Unikitty on Tuesday. It is Thursday now. I, the last order had some pieces from one of the blind bags. Some of these. So this one has, well, two sets. So, I mean, they're not expensive. But I did realize there's a couple parts in some of them that are, like, ridiculous. They're worth more than the actual figure. So that was it's wild. Like why is there? I was looking at the highest price parts. Some are over three dollars for little pieces. I was like, what? A couple were a dollar. A couple were two dollars. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13. Just trying to fill time. Twenty. Weird. I sold out all these I had, maybe because I had them at like five dollars and forty cents. There you go. And the final part of the final order, uh, twelve dollar and fifty cent cat. Very light orange. Very cool. It's already packed up. It's done. Six fifty a.m. I have not even had a coffee break. Push through all the twenty-two orders so that I can do what I want the rest of the day. Which is upload. Uh, yeah. So I try to run, trying to get myself out of a room here. That's the goal. All right, back to work. All these minifigs that my son built yesterday for me. And the little lady is doing some commentary in the background for us. Not sure what she's saying, but she wants to be part of it. So um, what do we got here? He built 197. 25 different figures and the price six months sales average is 291 it's pretty good for just under four hours of work and I, I mean it's just after 8 8 a.m. now so it took me 20 minutes to get this file set up and it'll take me another 15 max to get these put away so I'm gonna pull out these uh, these again so I keep filling them up so I don't use up all my drawers because uh, a lot of these will be here for a long time <laughs> so 
Like all those guys. Who needs all those? But you never know. We'll see. We are on this site. Brick and eyes. That would have been seen on Ralph's bricks. I'm just trying to do all this one handed, so uh search. You just hit search. Take a picture of something. Use the photo. Watch it mag magically find things. Um, there it is. I'm going to plug in the 4871C01 to brick store. 4871C01. There it is. You don't have to put all this stuff in brick store. Um, like the 973PB, I didn't put that in there. I just did the end number. So, I found it. This thing forever, I don't know if it's Lego. But I've never really looked into it. So, let's see if this program finds it. No, it's not Lego. I didn't think it was. I already made short work of making a file. Got some minifig parts. Some random pieces of hair. Can't forget those. Um, this is an $18 figure. I just recently sold it. And I had to find another torso, so I got to put in the notes that it's a small stitch. And then I had parts to build. This guy had the torso and the head in that stuff, so it's like a $7 figure. So that was nice. I didn't know it was there. And then I don't know if anything... I mean, that's a couple bucks. It's a nice one. Got some scratches, but um, one of these is like 3 bucks. One is 2 I think that's it for like the higher dollar amount things. But nothing. Oh, this is eight bucks. Yeah, this is light gray and it's eight bucks, so that's pretty good. That was in the bin of stuff I got in Green Bay at the at the buy sell trade in February. That bulk stuff I got. I don't know if I. You probably didn't even see any of that, so <clears throat> there might have been nothing on it. So anyway, um, yeah. So this is a. Uh, I gotta look at the file. <laughs> Like what am I trying? What's my next step here? I gotta get back into vlogging. It's been it's been too long. So we ended up adding 91 lots and 98 total items. Let's see the pricing. Six month sales average. This one sixteen one had a network error. Of this guy. It's a weird thing. I don't even know. There's none for sale. I don't even know if it's to list it right, but uh, ten cents. So 116 bucks. 9.30, by 10 o'clock we'll have that cleared, and then we got to do eBay stuff. I'm surprised without getting so many Brickling quarters that I actually have stuff to photograph, but I've been opening up blind bags. So there's a few, actually that's like less than 20 right there, but still want to get them listed, get them put away, um, things like that. Alright, I got that right, 10 a.m. And uh, 97 items, 90 lots. I don't think I've done a, a part check here. Let's see how many. Um, we had 192 lots. Is that this morning already? No, I might have not did it last night. Did I? Anyway, I don't know. 563,000 parts. I was up to 580,000. Um, but this is definitely. Um, Close to a record, 16,665 lots. I think I was at 700, 16,700 one time. So it's close, but either way, that's really good. That's a lot of lots. There we go. Great stuff you need. How do you get to the Brickling store? You just go to popsblockshop.com. And I have a link right here. Just click there, go to eBay. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, which I'm just, I don't know, I don't ever use it, and it's garbage. Um, so Brick Owl is there. See future events at the bottom of the page. Brick World Milwaukee, April 15th, 16th. That's almost, it's over a month away. Um, at that new, new bigger building, apparently. I'm so excited for this as well. Brick World Chicago, we are, we are bought and paid. All our hotels are paid for. Everything is paid for, so barring something crazy, we won't be going. But as Indianapolis, I might have mentioned, cannot make it, unfortunately. 
because <clears throat> uh, there's a gymnastics thing for my daughter that's a pretty big deal to last one of the year so couldn't go to that one this year that which is fine you will I'm, I'm kind of good that I don't have to prepare so much for everything so I, I'm like stocked for Milwaukee right now I won't have to do much for Chicago either depending on how, how many I sell how much I sell in Milwaukee I mean obviously I will do stuff but it's just then the flow of this business so they keep adding stuff as I go through it so I haven't bought any bulk minifig stuff um, which will start happening some in the next few weeks or another month I don't know so we are getting through this I think I'm gonna take this now and sort these out and my son's been working through them he's still on the orange that's what he had left yesterday um, but we'll just, I'm just gonna help kind of make it the flow go better for him and then some of them like I don't know if I will have them build like some of these more common ones like I said before we're running out of just general resources on some things but not not much really yeah I do have a ton but there's some heads that I'm running out of we'll work it work through it somehow train if I this morning I uploaded like a six dollar train conductor I had one horse over that one so and then like stuff like this is Arctic so I have a bin for train, I have a bin for Arctic. Um, I think some of these are Coast Guard, but I'm, I took everything out of the Coast Guard actually and put them in this other stuff. Like I have soccer, I have a soccer bin. So some of this stuff goes to other bins. Um, there's more Arctic. Yeah, we will get this all sorted and ready for more minifig building. Blue torsos are prepped. So this is, these are the oil ones, very common. Um, these are just, I'm not gonna have them build all of, all of them. These are extra ones here. And these are the ones I'm not, I'm running out of left side arms. So I didn't try to complete those or those, but this one, it's a very common one. And that's, I had the most of them. Damage stuff, stuff that have imperfections but still definitely usable for like build a minifig station. Uh, sometimes this like you know um, hairline cracks they're just not fully cracked or it's still good um, here's the work I did so basically every single one in here has arms hands that are not cracked the torso's not cracked and I also tell him to do the quality check as well because I don't like fully do it I just do a quick look look good I have them double check them as well so there's that one torso. They didn't build those ones in the oil. So and then a lot of them. He still has orange to do from yesterday. We did all. He did pretty good yesterday. He's gonna I think continue today after school. So that's uh. I love it. I only have three colors left after those are done. I think he should be able to get through that today because he did a lot yesterday. So he might start on this. I don't know, but. When I prep, it goes fast for him. Like, <laughs> it is so fast. So he's probably going to end up getting to this. Um, black is not not happy to do that. Or the white. I don't have any left what, arms left for white right now. So whatever's in here, we're going to have to use. But, you know, some of them don't have white arms. So... Oh yeah, now I'm gonna get these lists set up real quick and put away. Because just have so many of them. Clean up. He needs, he's gonna need this for the orange. I'm really happy with this whole program. This whole build a minifig program has worked out so well. I sorted all the head gears, things like that. So he just has it right here. And uses the phone, look, takes the picture, tells us what it is, what it looks like from just the torso. With Brick Monkey, um, and uh, yeah, it's been great. It's a mail today. There's 500 of these, which they are is it nine by twelve, uh, biodegradable, self-sealing mailer. Total with taxes, uh, 76 bucks. So I just I didn't do math on camera. I did it before I started the started this. So they're 14 and a half cents each. I don't know if that's going to be like. Here's an example. Today I had 22 orders. I used five of these today. Actually, I used. I had some old ones that I had left over that I do not like. So I'm going to 
put those back in my reserves. I ran out of those other ones, so I did end up using like 20 of these. Is this 200 of them? Yeah. Oh, something fell back there. So, let me put this away. That stupid light doesn't work. I have to use the remote. Because, uh, it's, it, it works every other day. Like, you walk in, it's an automatic light. But, um, so, shipping supplies. Boom! Knocking the more stuff over. Well, here's a look at the stuff. Not much to part out. I do have over 50 sets coming. Uh, in three different sets, I think it is. Oh, actually, four. I have one, I have one more of these coming. Um, we'll see that probably in a video after this or somewhere in there. I don't know. So anyway, i got to get this stuff put away. Back here. <clears throat> My big envelopes. So these are going back in there. I don't want to use them. I'll eventually use them. Just like I did. I got 20 out of the way. And then these other 400 will go over there. I have not bought these thermal labels in over a year. I still have that many left. I bought 6,000 of them. Anyway. This goes up here. And then we have free supplies. They come with hair. Free hair. So I know these aren't always the most, say, economical, financial, whatever. To ship these, especially if it's local. Like if it's something in Wisconsin or Michigan and it's like right at one pound, I will not use these. It's actually cheaper to even put it in the, um, in the poly mailer sometimes. So. But um, overall, if it's going to California for my zone or Florida or other places, it's definitely. I gotta use my remote. My luxury of lights walking, turning on when I walk in the room is not working. <clears throat> so I've been trying to get this under control. They do not, they no longer use regional rate box A or B anymore, which I have some, but you can still use them as regular boxes. So I do have them. <clears throat> I did. Uh, order did I order some is that it? just a large mailing boxes yeah I did order these large mailing boxes recently because so I just tend to not have large boxes hanging around other than the flat rate see this is a large flat rate right yeah that's a large part they're basically the same size as large flat rate but you you can ship whatever you want in them I don't know maybe you can use ship use just pay priority for a large flat rate but anyway, enough of that. And it's that time. I counted, there's 22. 22 to photograph. Looks like a lot more, but there's just multiples of a lot. So I like to put a, this for these CMFs. These, these will be put in one of these drawers with the numbers. So I don't really have a card. So I just kind of write down what they are in this number. So when I'm listing it, I have to kind of look it up. It's right there for me. That's all I need to know. All right, progress made. Let's just go through it all. Empty mail bins. Pick a bread cups. Those don't even need to be there. Like, the kids sometimes like to make pyramids out of them and run into them. Uh, tax records. I have another one that I have to actually put over here now after this. I'll have to get the taxes back this year. I'll have two full boxes. And then from there, it kind of, you can start getting rid of some after five years the sixth year away um it used to be seven i think it's just it's now five but this is all stuff that i'm kind of keeping from there over uh, there's book of boba fett sets there's some 501st battle packs there's the benny space squad there's a couple minecraft things and some more gift of purchases i can take out of that if i need stuff for convention this is all sets for convention i only have one of pretty much or i wouldn't part out uh, same with this and this. I guess I don't know. This I just don't want to get rid of this mixel box. Shout out to Pro Lego Channel. Let me know that they were on sale like two years ago. Was it on Cartoon Network? They had mixel a whole box of them for like 200 bucks. Um, <clears throat> all of this is parting out. There's two of them, and there's some I don't want to do twos, but I only got two of these. But these are I got some nice figures in there. So I'm just going to do two of them. 
guess I can look to see if there's any good prices for them. You know, this I didn't really want to part out, but I opened one and used the reindeer for a Christmas thing last year. So I think I'm just going to part those two out. And then I'm not into collecting sets. It's a good idea to buy a bunch of these Santa sleighs. The, the original price is just high. It's just, just, you know, you could double your money after three, four years. It's retired maybe or more. I don't know. Um, got the Wolverine next again. So that's that. These are all sets that need to be uh, verified. Oh, this is something I got from the Green Bay Hall. Looks really nice in there. Um, so all three of these I got from that. And there's probably about 15 more other sets in here in bags. So it's, a, it's just a work in progress. It is considered backlog, but it's really not. Okay, it is. It's just it's a standard thing that um, we'll do a couple a week you know, until it's done. But I keep adding, I added, I think I added, I added these three plus two more when I got that, that Green Bay Hall. This stuff, at least I didn't know. This I need to take care of. I'm just gonna list that on eBay. So I'll set that there for now. There's just a bunch of stuff behind me. So what else did I do? I moved a bunch of plastic sheeting here. I don't even know, I have so many uh, Disney pins that I used to sell at flea markets. Just don't know what to do with them. Um, all the Viewmasters. I had a plan. I have an extra viewer there that I bought to sell them. I did list like 15 of them last year. Sold one. <laughs> but it's just not on the agenda. Chess sets were back there. Uh, Fantasy Era. This is this needs a lot of help, but this is a Viking chess. I bet you if I spent an hour, I can get this mostly completed. There is a lot of figures in there. This thing is beautiful. It is awesome. I'm a fan of chess. Don't play it ever, but I like playing it when I can. We did make a custom Minecraft set we have upstairs. Um, it was early on in this channel. I did stuff on it. So these two definitely are a backlog item. Um, I'll just kind of just slide them in there so I can see them. I come over so um that's looking good though clean off clean off some stuff this is all plates I believe just plates like this uh, and bigger plates yep there can't see it in there but it's all plates so that is a backlog item this is all plates as well these are more of the smaller variety um, actually that been up there is like base plates, a lot more base plates, but there's some regular plates in there. This thing is a jam full. So, I don't know, I don't know why these are out here. That looks, looks better. I always put my, take this over to my um, table every day and put it back. Um, if I had a station over there, if I take the pool table out, I would make a spot for that, a permanent spot underneath it. Where I can just pull it up under the table, or maybe even a drawer that pulls out. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, the shipping boxes. These are the boxes I use. Some of them for the Lego sets. And then shipping supplies. So this and these are just these four little spots are dedicated just to all the supplies. These are just empty boxes. If I need them, I usually don't keep too many boxes, but. I just like to have some on hand if I need them. Especially in the summer is more when I need those, being I go over I'm just sailing and buy random things that sometimes I regret buying. I don't know. This is not okay. This is not backlog. This is a this is just filling up the bulk, right? You get tires, you throw them in there, once that's full, then you take care of it. Same with Bionicle, although um, yeah, I guess I might want to try to keep up with it from now on. I don't know. It seems better to do something more like that size. I do have an empty bin here. Maybe I should switch it. This is just donation stuff, so maybe I should switch Bionicle to something bigger. Uh, just for, for sake of efficiency. There's part of my minifigure Santa cut. Um, this is just for donation stuff. These are... Uh, the Duplo that I collect, and then I got a bunch of 2x2, two two, which I have a plan for this. There's a Technic drawer over there by my used parts wall that I don't think I want to have there. It's like a catch-all. I can find something smaller for it, and I can move um, 
I have, I have a one by three bricks and one by four bricks in that same area. I can do one by two bricks, and so that gets full, and then I'll take care of them. So basically, I think that's gonna go like that, and then I'll have a duplo in my back. Duplo, I don't know what to do with it. It's not a big deal. It's not back. Like I got one set waiting for parts here. This one, the time cruisers train thing. It's an awesome set. I only need like three parts for it. Um, what is this? It's my daughter's earrings. It's kind of, it's kind of a okay, all stuff for sale. or some eBay Bricklink. These are all for sale on Bricklink. This is my brick stock computer where I just run, um, I run brick stock on it so that it sinks the stores. So, what am I doing? Last thing I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> um, the mini fix Target station. This is not the last thing I'm going over, but it's not had seen much use lately. It did see a lot of use, but okay, these are all poly bags that I'm gonna be parting out. These are all poly bags that I'm gonna put in my overflow convention bin, which I just I just made. This was the bin I got with that haul in Green Bay. I got like 20 pounds of bulk with it. And uh, it, the top was broken, so I'm like, okay, another bin. And I shoved it in there. This will just throw, I'll throw all the stuff that I want to eventually take to convention or little things like that. So all of these are going to go in there. Uh, I thought about pricing them up, but I think I'm just going to throw them in there. A lot of stuff in there is priced. So these are all going in there. And then these I'm just going to leave here because that tells me to take care of them. I even have dots. So all these are going to be parted out along with all those. And that's all I have to part out right now are all these sets and this. But I think that I did get 50 some sets coming. So that I could probably knock that out in a day though. They're, one of the sets is only like 130 parts in it. It's trolls. So anyway, that's what I just did. Now I got a list I photoed, list on eBay and call it a day. All right, so move those two drawers down. The Technic one was on the bottom. And I have the new label for it. Right now I have, I was thinking about moving, about getting a long drawer for the two by three plates. So like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this one with this one. And then, I don't know, this one's not even really being used. It's those parts you don't find very often. But what am I gonna do with all the Technic that I have in this drawer? Well, I have a spot for it all. I just need to sort it. So this is kind of getting me away from lazily throwing it in there. Here we go. Well, I have to sort it at some point. At 45 minutes left on my work day. And uh, I got four orders to pull. So 70 lots, four lots, 24 lots, and 11. They're all pretty easy. So two 28 items for seven, it's four items per lot. So it goes pretty quick. And I work till four. Hopefully in the summer I'm gonna cut out at 2.30, which will be more like three o'clock. That's my goal this summer. Only work till three most days. <clears throat> I used to work half day Fridays, but winter there's like no reason. And having a baby in the house, we don't really go too many places together anymore at this point. Eventually well, summertime is easier. So can't wait for it. These are getting longer.